Hello, uh, summer classes. Um, I am just gonna give one last extra clarification on video notes, which I did mention in my first hello announcement. So please make sure. Uh, some of you are new to Canvas as well. Um, if you look in announcements, I make announcements every uh, um, week. And um, I try to proactively address things that I see the students are asking. So try to make sure that you watch the videos from the beginning to the end before um, you get to doing your work. Because I will, <clears throat> at times, I'm going to be answering things that maybe you're, that I know you're already going to be um, wondering about. So the video notes. As I mentioned in the first announcement, you have to write notes on all the videos, all of them. Now, um, I gave an example for uh, an announcement of two notes uh, of what they, what they could look like, but you need to have uh, notes on all the videos, lectures that I do, and the documentary clips. And some of the clips are going to be longer. Now, this is the most work intensive aspect of this class during. The summer so I want to again get you to understand there's several reasons why we do this and what's going on first of all let's be real most of you are not going to watch the videos unless you're uh, you have to if I don't say if, if I said just watch the videos most of you are not going to watch the videos not because you are not good students but you are very busy it's very hard to focus and concentrate in an online class um, and so this forces you to commit to getting information. Now, on the other side of this, um, it also helps you learn. Because what I want you to do is watch, and when I say two points made, is to understand, okay, so what is the information that uh, are, are we covering? And then third, in my last announcement, I made a recommendation that I really, really, it's not a requirement, but I really, really recommend this, and it makes the video note-taking make more sense for you, is you look at the Sunday questions first for your papers, and then you look for that information in the videos, and you can write that into your notes, as I said, and then you can use the notes to help you make the Sunday paper. And as I mentioned uh, in my last announcement, this is not a research paper. You don't look for outside sources. And um, essentially, um, this is getting you the chance to focus on one kind of set of information. I don't need to go over this again. I already covered this thoroughly in my last announcement. But that's the logic behind doing the video notes. And that's why you want to start right away. And I want to always remind you is that this is still, the video notes are still not as long as if you were in an in-face class. I just break them up into smaller pieces uh, uh, for you so, so that you can do a segment at a time. And um, so yeah, so that's the whole logic behind it. Now some of you um, already turned in some incomplete notes and you have time, just re resend. Um, I work with all of you on the first week a lot. I, I, I realize that it's very confusing for many of you, especially if this is the first time using Canvas. The summer courses are difficult because we are doing like three chapters uh, a week. And some of you just haven't really fully absorbed the fact that that's, you know, you looked at how short the class was and that looked great for you. You didn't consider the fact that it was a lot of work condensed in a short amount of time. That's fine, you can get through this. Um, many of my students still, uh, most of my students attain high grades that stick it out with me. So don't drop. And uh, keep writing to me if you have questions. Um, I just really want to help make sure that this is uh, extra clear for you and I want to give you the tools to, for success. And ultimately, I want you to learn. And even though this is a cram course and there's a lot of information coming, I just want to also remind you of this. Instead of worrying, because remember, you don't have to memorize. We don't, I don't make uh, you memorize uh, uh, lots of facts and that kind of stuff. Try to conceptualize the world we live in. Think about the fact that we still see religious conflicts taking place today. Think about the fact that Europe doesn't really make, uh, is not that religious anymore. But think about how, you know, 
it was, for example, or I mean, think about the information that you're learning and, and, and what news events you see today and try to start kind of conceptualizing like how significant that is or, or maybe eventually helpful for you to understand um, where we're at now. Um, and so uh, what I'm hoping that this can do for you is actually um, just start kind of giving you, uh, uh, making you less intimidated by learning information about the world as opposed to you trying to memorize so many little details that, you know, you just get overwhelmed and you're for worrying about passing an exam as opposed to actually learning something. So I want you to learn. So that's my goal and um, I want you to succeed. Um, but we do have to do a lot of work and I didn't invent the concept of a cram course and neither did you um, And this is what we have and so you work with that and um, You know, I wish you all the best of luck and we'll be in touch and again contact me if you need me